for everybody out there, this is the, the Switchblade. It is a sleek, aerodynamic sports car and aircraft. What captured my interest in the Switchblade was really uh, versatility and convenience. Uh, you know, I was looking for airplanes that could land on water, land on the ground, uh, something that was more of a, of a sport, uh, light aircraft model, something I could learn rel relatively easily, was safe. Uh, finding this was really a, almost a miracle. Uh, the ability to sort of drive something and at will fly it was something I'd never thought could ever be possible. The Squishblade is a one-of-a-kind machine. Um, it's extraordinary because it, it, as it's being sold, it is a car that turns into a plane that turns back into a car. As everybody knows, aviation can be very expensive. What better way to reduce your cost uh, from having hangar fees or tie-down fees at the local airport to being able to park it in your garage, drive it like a vehicle on the roads like you would any other vehicle, go to the airport, unfurl the wings and the tail, do your pre-flight -pre check and go fly to wherever it is you want to go and then drive somewhere. What first captured my interest were, were actually several things, um, but I happened to be in a position where I was looking at what would my next car be and uh, I was looking around for a car and, and came across this and although it's more than a car obviously I'm also a kit builder and have had a wonderful experience doing that and I love the building process. So the combination of a, uh, a car building an airplane and the airplane being uh, capable of cross-country speeds and that sort of thing, uh, just the combination of all that was really perfect timing, the perfect storm sort of thing. Five, six years ago when I first saw the Switchblade, I was like, wow, elegant design. This guy's thought this through. I want one. So I had to give up flying uh, for 30 years and I've always wanted to get back into flying and the Samson Switchblade is the unbelievable best option that you can have because it allows you to fly your airplane, park it in your garage, buy gasoline from the local pump and be the coolest kid on the block. I did a lot of research on the Switchblade and felt it was going to be the right vehicle for me so uh, I was offered a chance to, uh, to become an owner, so I took it. I've been looking at all the flying cars for probably two decades now, and this is the first one that meets all the check boxes. I, I, I love it. I've, I've been following it for eight years or something and excited every day. First learned of it probably in 2007, 2008, and have been following it ever since. Uh, and I've found it to be a very, very exciting uh, vehicle, aircraft, uh, and Look, have looked forward to using it uh, for travel to go see family and friends. I'm also a CFI, uh, be able to do some training in it and teach people. Um, and then one of the things my wife and I, uh, we really enjoy sports. We've longed to be able to use the, the Switchblade to be able to go to every single baseball stadium, every single football stadium to take in a game. What, what better machine for that kind of a mission? For me personally, I'm gonna, you know, I'm retired now, so I'm gonna just basically use it as my little, my little get away from home kind of a vehicle. Uh, you know, the way I, I look at it is, uh, you know, I, I'm a pilot right now, I'm flying at 25,000 feet looking at some of these things, and I'm going, oh man, someday I'd like to stop there, someday I'd like to stop there. And so now, you know, I just jump in my little plane and scoot where I want to. If I see something interesting on the ground, and I just hit nearest airport on my GPS, go land and then drive, to that particular location that I saw in the air and you know check it out. I think it suits a lot of people and you know another thing I didn't think about is it's air conditioned so it means for those of us who live in the south nice option to have. All I have to do is just uh, think of an airport where I, go, I would be able to take off and just go to it and take off and and go to, to, to point B and when I arrive in point B all I have to do is just re uh, hide my wings and, and drive myself out of there and, and enjoy what I have to do in that city and, and when I have to come back I just come fly back and be home for dinner. When you got to the airport you always had to find a car to rent and 
Um, I, I worked in an industry for a while that we flew to a lot of smaller private, or not private, but smaller municipal airports. And uh, we'd always have to wait for a car. We'd have to buy a, 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 an airport car and let it sit there. And then we had to get that going. And a lot of times kids would break the car. So it was a lot of times uh, it was just not very much available. Safety is my biggest concern about myself, right? I want to make sure I'm a really safe and cautious flyer. The whole notion of not having to worry about being stuck because you can't get to your destination because the weather changes, because with this, you know you can keep traveling because you just land and drive as opposed to land and wait. And I really like that aspect of it. And it would make flying and traveling with this for enjoyment more enjoyable. Research I had done on flying cars uh, there have been a lot of different ideas and they never knew what exactly to do with the wings. So when I saw Sam's um, folding of the wings under the fuselage, he solved the wing issue. The whole fact that the flying surfaces are all protected when you're driving, you know, I looked at many of the vehicles that have been following many of the vehicles in this space and to be honest, I think most of them are, well for, for us older people, you might not know, you know, you would know this term, uh, they look like Rube Goldberg machines. You know, like this, this wing is tucked over here and glued on here, and when it's driving down the road, it looks like a what? You know, this doesn't. This looks like a intended car, an intended flying vehicle in both modes, and it transitions nicely, and it looks proper in both modes. Some of the coolest aspects, I think, of the switchblade are the, the flexibility that you have to, to be able to, to uh, not have to rent a hangar, you know, you can uh, drive it home, put it in your garage. You can work on it in your workshop if you have it. You don't have to be at an airport somewhere. Um, the other aspect is that, you know, if you encounter weather or you don't want to fly at night, uh, you put it down in an airport and you can continue traveling. So it, from that standpoint, you know, I think it'll be a, a really remarkable vehicle. I was really impressed with Sam and Martha's dedication. Um, and then actually being able to visit and talk to the person who's got this idea and this dream. I've learned one thing about entrepreneurs is that they're big dreamers, but you also have to be realist. And then what, what that means is that you have to look up and see the vision, but you gotta look down and be attentive to the details. And I saw that in Sam and Martha and the whole team, that they're not just rushing through this, that they're being very meticulous about it. Safety is their number one concern, which is also mine and my family's. Sam and Martha are just incredible people to work with. They've taken the time. I visited them in the hangar while they're building it for like five, five different trips throughout the years. And man, they are just personable. They just tell you, they spend the time. I trust these guys and they are just wonderful people. And they, they obviously put the, their love, sweat, and tears into it. I think the people who should buy a Switchblade that, that want to marry the convenience of a car uh, as well as an airplane, uh, you can decide, hey, you know, you wanted to fly today, but the weather's not quite right, so you can drive. You don't have to be delayed. You have a number of different options with this. If you want to take it around town, you can take it around town. If you want to take it to a small airport, you could do that. You could take it to a big airport. You just can't beat the, the versatility. So I think your, your average everyday pilot would love it. This is the perfect vehicle for those type of people that need that find themselves stuck in airports a lot of the time in their life. This will reduce time, reduce cost, give them more flexibility. I think it's going to be a, a great machine for a lot of people and one of those machines that kind of does it all. There are 20 some odd thousand airports in the United States. You can get to pretty much anywhere you want to go and then get out, get off from the airport and finish that commute. As a vehicle, how simple is that? Um, in terms of the freedom it brings you and gives you it, it, to get around this country.